As a small token of gratitude for years, the state of Texas has allowed toll charges to be waived for disabled veterans. So why are some veterans still paying to drive on some North Texas toll roads? Honestly, the answer is complicated. We can trace our lineage back to Valley Forge. The Nelson family has a proud tradition of serving this country. My mom is a member of Daughters of the American Revolution. We've had uh, family represented in every military, every conflict. In World War I, uh, Captain Harry S. Truman. This book holds the names of family members who have served even before independence. Sergeant James Ford Barrett. Uh, of Kentucky and listed in 1775. But today, instead of leafing through the ancestry book, Paul Nelson is going through this file. This is my packet. This, this is my folder of knowledge. Nelson is a veteran who now has an unwanted fight with the North Texas Tollway Authority over tolls. Tolls that he thought were covered through his service and the disabled veteran license plates that are on his car. I thought that I didn't have to pay these tolls. Mr. Nelson has racked up $349 in charges, driving on NTTA roads and Texpress toll lanes since February of this year when he received his specialized plates. I was under the impression that toll fees were waived for those with a DV with a disabled veteran plate based on research that I had done and based on the bill that was passed in 2009. The state law he's talking about allows toll providers to give a courtesy to disabled veterans, those who have plates for Legion of Valor and a number of other military specialty plates, but it's not required. The Texas Department of Transportation, meanwhile, waives tolls for veterans on some toll lanes, but the NTTA does not. If you are under the impression that as, as a disabled veteran, that you can drive the NTTA tollways and have your fees waived, you are sadly mistaken. An NTTA spokesperson told CBS 11 and the I-Team it respects and honors all U.S. veterans for their service, adding, quote, unlike other tolling entities around the state, the North Texas Tollway Authority does not receive tax appropriations from the state of Texas to fund a disabled veterans toll program. We build roads through proceeds from bond sales. Agreements with bondholders require us to collect tolls to repay the debt. Adding to the confusion, TxDOT officials say its waiver applies to toll lanes on Interstates 30, 35E, and State Highway 114, but not certain stretches of LBJ Freeway, North Tarrant Expressway, or some parts of State Highway 183. The state says that's because private developers helped fund the projects. This confusion, Paul says, baffles most veterans he knows. He says that policy is confusing at best and unfair to those who have served their country. I feel like I'm being marginalized or I have, I'm not relevant now. I'm just, okay, I'm, I'm a castaway. I told you it was confusing, right? NTTA says Legion of Honor plates, they receive a waiver because of a private company that is funding that. NTTA, Texpress, and TxDOT say that the legislature has to appropriate money for those lanes funded by private money. We do have a list of all the toll lanes and roads that do waive fees for specialty plates. You can find that on our website at cbsdfw.com.